Now we begin our presentation with part one, basic symbolism. We start with the Il Cornudo, also known as the horned hand or the devil's horns. It is a satanic salute. It is also a satanic curse uh, when it's used against somebody. We begin with Anton LaVey. This is a portrait of him. and I just want to remind you, please bear with me. These are just basic symbols. These symbols are ubiquitous. Some people will laugh at this notion of looking at this symbol. So I just, please, bear with me. It, get, it progresses in symbolism, and I don't want uh, people with biases to, to uh, shut this video off because we're covering something that they believe is just nonsense. There is an underlying meaning to the symbol, so I ask you to bear with me. Anton LaVey uses the Il Cornudo in this portrait. He also has the satanic pentagram in the background. Church of Satan, they use this as a satanic salute. And the Baphomet pentagram, the Baphomet is the goat head uh, within the down pointing uh, star. That's a satanic salute. Marilyn Manson, you can see the Il Cornudo on the t-shirt. One key aspect of this is the use of the single eye symbolism and the distinction of this eye, and we'll get into that single eye symbolism later as, as we move along. There are three ways to do this, and you can see here is a witch on the, um, uh, the witch is, doesn't have any eyes. Uh, this is a reference to uh, demonic possession. We'll see that a little bit later, but here we have uh, the two finger method. The methods of doing this, two finger methods and three finger methods. Now it just so happens that in sign language, this three finger method is an I love you sign. But when you research this, Helen Keller uh, is a theosophist or was a theosophist. And theosophy has rooted in Freemasonry and Luciferian doctrine. And we can sympathize, yes, with Helen Keller. She was blind and deaf but she was a theosophist, and it just so happens that the three-finger method is being used, I love you, in an opposite viewpoint. And we're going to see this opposite and these, this deception going on in this fashion with regard to symbols. Uh, killing for Satan uh, in this, and you can see, stabbed 66 times, her use of the... Um, three-finger method, true vampires, the three-finger method, this is Gene Simmons of the rock band KISS. KISS is the acronym K-I-S-S, Knights in Satan's Service. And I can assure you he knows exactly what he's doing with this three-finger method uh, saluting Satan, a satanic uh, hand sign. Now going with he heavy metal, you can see the standard uh, versions here in this chart um, looking at two-hand uh, two versions. Uh, this is meant as a joke, but uh, and you can see Spider-Man doing that same uh, thing. And then here's the Mono Cornudo. Uh, you see the uh, Skull and Bones. Il Cornudo, same as Mono Cornudo. And you can see here the silhouette uh, creates a man with horns. This is Sammy Davis Jr. with Anton LaVey. He was well known to be a Satanist. And Sammy Davis, or Sa Sammy Davis Jr. stars in Poor Devil. And you can see the use of the sign. Moving along with uh, Ronnie James Dio, I believe is his name. I'm not sure if I have it correct, but Dio. Uh, and you can see this entity with the Il Cornudo sign. This is uh, interesting because this is a Catholic priest, and we're going to see how intelligence works and dialectics work with regard to priests, and I don't believe at all that Catholicism represents Christianity. So this, uh, the, there's a method to how they do things and trap people in both aspects. And so we'll get into that later. Here's Dio and the ubiquitous use of this sign in his campaign and putting this in his concrete. Uh, uh, and then we have Oz Fest, which is Ozzy Osbourne. This is the Baphomet type symbol. You can see here this is the goat's head. I'm sorry, the goat's feet. Um, uh, this is a Baphomet symbol. This is Metallica, uh, the rock band, you can see rock bands here. Oh, and one thing I forgot to note, you can see here, obviously they're using the two finger and the three finger single symbolism, and then he's pointing at you. They're, you know, these are concerted efforts that they do when people are photographing, and I just want you to know that aspect of it, that it's deliberate in this case. Now, moving on with uh, Anton LaVey, his daughter is going to keep the faith. 
can see that. Now, it just so happens in Buddhism, and this is Oracles and Demons of Tibet, the cult and iconography of the Tibetan protective deities. So you can understand that uh, that Buddhism, and they call them demons, and they, in Buddhism, they believe that deities, or these demons, protect them and help them attain enlightenment. So in this case you can see here is the Dharma wheel and the Dharma wheel represents life and this planet and you can see here that this is a quintessential demon so it's got red skin it also has this third spiritual eye in Hinduism uh, the women usually wear bindis which represent that third spiritual eye you can see here this rainbow now represents this path toward enlightenment out of this uh, Dharma wheel, they believe in reincarnation. But the peculiar thing about this is the Il Cornudo is used in the hand sign uh, for this devil itself. So we can understand uh, in the intro that oh, with regard to the Bible, the God of this world, you can see who the God of this world is, the devil and Satan. And so he is now holding this world this way. In Buddhism, so you can see the same deity and you see the Il Cornudo hand sign in this parade type the whoever's inside this I believe it's a woman inside uh, is showing you that she understands that she needs to use this hand sign these hand signs are called mudras in Buddhism and Hinduism and they usually refer to things like enlightenment or wisdom uh, and that type of of uh, those types of aspects so you can see uh, the Buddha and this different look uh, in Buddhism. I believe this is a, a Chinese version of the Buddha, but anywhere there are uh, different uh, gods and goddesses uh, in Buddhism uh, in the Orient in that part of the world. So you can see that uh, these deities doing this hand sign. And with regard to uh, the uh, uh, pop culture, uh, top of the food chain, when it comes regard to music, this is Jay-Z and the, his use of that two-finger method. Uh, in a video, he's pointing to himself and using the satanic sign. And the three-finger method while he's singing, this is the ad for Rockaware, his Rockaware referring to Rockefeller, um, the Rockefeller family bloodline and the banking families that way. And then this is an, a deliberate ad. You can see the use of the Il Cornudo here. Um, uh, there's also this aspect. We'll, we'll get into some of that later, but he also calls himself J to the Izzo. I forget the <laughs> the rap uh, or the name that he does, but it, it refers to Jehovah, and so he's uh, calling himself God in a sense. He has a best friend on the market, and that's Kanye West. They are have they have mouths like a lion, and this is a reference to the biblical. Uh, I'm sorry, Revelation 13:2. Uh, the description of the beast is one aspect is the mouth like a lion. A mouth like a lion, this is why they do things. We, in the outside world, if we don't know the Bible, we don't know what they're doing. But they know the Bible, and they do this as a mockery. So I'm, they are completely against that uh, Bible. So in this uh, case, this is pretty important to this presentation. Uh, there's two signs being used here, very subtly the Il Cornudo sign and then this sign here which is the hidden hand and that is a Masonic sign. You're going to see in his Roca wear uh, the Masonic or the free Masonic symbolism in that. This, this is it, is Michael Jackson after he passed away. This movie and you can see this symbol being used there. Uh, one of his signature moves whether or not he's doing the symbol here, we can't see, but you can see here Justin Timberlake is using the Il Cornudo uh, along with Michael Jackson. Um, moving along, Beyonce is the wife of Jay-Z, either girlfriend or wife, I think it's wife, but she uses it constantly. This particular uh, one on the internet, she uses it throughout her song and her performance, um, uh, and it's, it's scary. Uh, how she's using this symbol uh, and cursing the audience that way as well. So you have uh, Rihanna here and the use of the symbol. It used to be only in uh, heavy metal. Now it's ubiquitous throughout all genre of music. This is Rihanna and her ex-boyfriend Chris Brown and the use of the three-finger method. Yeah, he's got a picture of Jesus, but I'm going to tell you that they can wear crosses uh, and believe me, this is the counterfeit that they show you, and the ignorant people think that they're Christian uh, when they do all of the opposites of that. So uh, this particular story is that Chris Brown beat up Rihanna, and this was big uh, Hollywood news, 
And I'm going to tell you that I've come to find things about the aspects of being beat up um, that are not what the media says they are. And you'll understand what I'm saying toward the end of this uh, presentation. This is Boy George, my generation. And this is Bono, again, my generation, uh, using these horns and the Il Cornuto. When you see an image like this, Life Magazine and Getty Images, a lot of these images have symbolism in there. In this case, it's a religious kneeling down symbol and the, uh, almost a praying to Satan uh, image. I know it's laughable, but I just want you to bear with me on this. Here's the yellow submarine and the Beatles, and you can see the use by John Lennon uh, of that symbol. We're going to move on to the next plate. 